Reading at 44, thought it was a hammered coin. We've got something quite interesting here. Welcome back to another video. I'm back in this little field. Um, was it four acres by the church? A lovely old house in the background, manor house. Um, yep. Yeah. And tonight I'm probably just doing a couple of hours, seeing what else I have missed. I think I've done it. I've been over, over, and over it. I'm still finding stuff. Um, yeah. So join me at the first decent find, guys. See ya. Right guys, I don't know if you can hear me, this is the first hole, very wet day, a lot different than the other day. Anyway, i just come down for a little bit, first signal, oh god, what we got? We got this little beauty. I think it's a mount. Um, I'm gonna have to put that up on Facebook and see um, see what age we got on this. But look at the patina on that. Quite deep down as well, probably ten inches. Right next to a medieval church. No idea on the age, but yeah, I love that mount. See the camera doesn't say it's absolutely chucking it down at the moment. On to another hole quite deep. Just see a glimmer off. Got another coin guys. Half a penny, all of them are coming out like this. Ah, oh, ship's penny. Half penny, 19, probably 30 something. 39 I think. Lovely condition once again. Didn't really give a good signal though, that one. Okay, not getting many signals uh, in this field today. So uh, yeah, we're digging the scratchy ones. These two are scratchy, not on the same hole. First of all, very scratchy, an old button. Unique design, I haven't seen one like that before. And then we've just had a spoon. That was very deep, really um, crappy signal. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today, is digging the dodgy ones. All right, we're on to another target here. Reading in at 72. Just come out of that hole there. Running in deep mode as always. Got another crotal bell, or half a one. Shame it's not a full one, guys. Still take that. On to another coin. This time, nothing's that special. Just a threepence. 1940. Yep, Second World War stuff, 1940, I don't know, 4 or something like that. Cool. Okay guys, on to another coin, as you can see there in the hole. There's, um... Britannia on the back. It'll bend up this one. Yeah, it looks like we've got a George III there looking to the right. George III and Britannia on the back. So late 1700s. Cool. Okay, we're on to the next one, reading at 66. Located under this big rock here. Nice piece of lead. I think we've got a spindle or weight. 
there's a hole in the middle there oh where we got quite deep down as well spindle wool or um yeah wait that's got some real age to it like i say we're in a roman rich area medieval field next to a medieval church cool it's hard to put an age on this but um yes yeah, um could be 500 years old could be a thousand years old could be even more Okay, this next one, don't know if you can hear that, all day long in the 70s, 74, 78, just a quick prod around, see what it is. Alright, now the signal's gone up to 88 guys, let's have a look, it's in here somewhere. You reckon thimble or something? A piece of um, copper piping. Nah, no, just copper piping, guys. Nothing special at all. Well, well we just had the uh, lead medieval spindle wall there, the copper piping there, down to here, and we're onto a coin. Not sure on the age. Oh, what we got here then? It's an oldie one, Georgian probably. What's that one then? George the first could be? Yeah, it needs a better clean up, but I think that could be George the first if I'm looking that way. Cool. I'll just a little brush off. Definitely a George, you can see the George around the side. I think it's a George II. I can't find a date on it, but George II coin. Look at the condition of that. Okay, on to another coin. Just come out from there. Look, see the imprint. What we got then? Jules the fifth probably. Yep, Jules the fifth. Nice condition again. Half penny. We've got date wise nineteen fifteen or something like that. Cool. This is the last signal of today. Believe it or not, it's getting quite dark. Reading at 44, thought it was a hammered coin. We've got something quite interesting here. Look at that. Is that a belt buckle? Let's do this together. How's that? Oh my god, that's lovely. Oh my god, what a find. There's the imprint. That is definitely going up on uh, Facebook to identify that. Oh my god, that is lovely. There's two men, man and woman, holding hands. Look at the patina on it as well. Oh my god. It's one of the nicest finds I've had from this field. Guys, that is brilliant. Honestly, ends this hunt. Oh my god, that is... Right, I put up what it is I'm also going to do some research on this one okay on to the roundup it's going to be slightly different today I'm not going to video everything because I didn't get that much um, a few coins crotal bell loom weight buttons 
think someone dated it, 1500 and something. A bit broken off there, but yeah, nice patina on it. Fleur de Lis mount. So that will be going to the Fines Liaison Officer. But the star fine today. Look at that beauty. Right. I've put that on Facebook. Had nearly 200 comments on this. Everyone says what a stunning find. Find of a lifetime. Top draw find. People just can't believe how good this find is. Um, but. Period wise. I've had everything from. Roman. Viking. Norman, Tudor, most people say it's around seven, eight hundred. But someone came forward and says they've got one exactly the same, or more or less the same. I found it and it went through the scheme, PAS, flow and all that, and it came back as Viking. So this is the Viking piece, guys. Obviously, I will send it in. It's my flow. But yeah, Viking. Absolutely lovely, lovely find. And that's certainly for my top draw. So thanks for all those on Facebook that commented. But yeah, it was positively ID'd. That's what it's all about, metal detecting. Right, that's the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. See ya!